So now let's start working on this detail here. And I think I mentioned it earlier that this is in the front view and we can't really see uh, how to actually model the body from the front view. So I did it from the side and we'll just extrude outwards. So um, let's create a sketch. Select the 2D background or the plane. Now we're in sketch mode. Now we can input these values or we could just use the line tool. Remember the hotkey for that is L on the keyboard. And then we can just um, trace this out. And this isn't too hard. This is a uh, really simple stuff. I'm just going to continue. And you can reference another line by uh, going to the point and then just moving your mouse, just dragging your mouse out. So I'm not clicking, I'm just hovering over this point and I'm just sliding my mouse to the right. So I have the exact same um, measurement line here. Once I'm satisfied, I'll left click and then I can close these out by connecting these two. I can right click, hit OK. And I can start to um, rotate this 90 degrees to face this, but I'll do that here in a second after I do this trim number one. And I'll use the line tool once again. And I could easily input the value, but um, I want you guys to see that you can just do this also without like you know following me step by step. And it'll get you familiar with using the tools here in the sketch mode. I'm just having some fun just tracing these. This is a straight line, so we'll bring this up to something right here. We'll just connect these two. Right click, hit OK. And I have one more, which is this pipe here. So uh, for this, I can use the circle diameter circle tool. And if you don't see it here, you can go to the create drop down, go to circle, go to circle diameter circle, and you'll see the hotkey for that is C. And this way we can start from the center of the circle and draw outwards to get the shape. But I think I'd prefer to use the two point circle on this one. And you notice we have uh, the values here on top. So we can just zoom in, select here, drag out. And let's input that value, 39.825, hit enter, and we have that done. So what I want to do now is select this um, circle while holding shift, and I'm going to double click to select this entire sketch. And left while holding shift again, I'm going to double tap this. Now I have them all three selected. Now I can um, right click and go to move. And now I just want to hold shift and middle mouse to rotate. And I'll just um, grab this tool here so I can rotate it. So you can see from a better view. I want to rotate this 90 degrees. While holding shift, you can uh, do incremental movements. So you can lock that in. You see that's uh, exactly negative 90. So that's 90 degrees that way. So that way, if we go to the left view, you can see that it's this is what we want, right? So once we're, we've done that move, we can right click, hit OK, and we can just drag these out. So I hold, I shift selected all three of these, and I'm going to right click, press pull. In the front view, I can just pull these out. It doesn't really matter how far I pull these out because I can uh, adjust this here in a second. So what I'll do is just drag these all the way through this side here. And right now it's red, so that means it's going to cut out these bodies and we don't want that. So let's go to the operation on the right side, change it from cut to new body, and we'll hit OK. Now what I'm going to do is uh, remove the area that we don't want. So I'm going to... Um, Maybe it's best if we just position these a bit better. So for the trim two, I'm gonna to go to the body, which is body 11. And if you hover over the body here on the 3D canvas, we see it lights up on the left side, indicating uh, which body it is. So now we know it's body 11, we can right click on it, go to move, and we can move this up 
to better match the reference. So it's somewhere around here, right? And I'm just moving it up. I'm not moving it left or right because that won't matter here in a second. And once we're satisfied, we can hit OK on the right side or we can right click and hit OK. And I want to do the same for the trim. I just want to move this a little bit higher because I see it's a little bit lower. And we're hovering over it and body number 10 is lighting up. So we know what body is. is. It is. Now we can go to uh, right click on the body and go to move. I just want to pull this up slightly. So somewhere around here. Hit OK. And we'll do the same for the pipe. So right click on body number 9. Go to move body. And we'll just slide this down to right here. Now there's a few different ways we can go about uh, getting this exact shape here. And I'll show you um, each different way with each different model. So for the pipe, if I wanted to, I can just eye this, right click, and go to press pull. And while I have this surface selected, I can move this here by going to the front view and I can kind of eyeball this to the reference, right? Right click, hit OK, and I'll do the same for the right side. Select this surface, right click, press pull. And I'll press pull this to match here. And you see what it's doing? It's now um, affecting the other ones on the right side. All right? And that's fine. So we'll hit OK. Now for body number, uh, for trim one, which is body number 10, we need to match this on the left side. So what I'll do is select the surface, right click, press pull. And you see if I press pull this, it's, um, I can do the same thing what I did as I did on top with the pipe. But instead, I'll just select this face here. And that uses it as a reference point so it knows exactly where to drag it to. So instead of guessing, trying to eyeball, I can just select this surface that's already measured properly and it will inherit that position. So um, just have some fun and experiment with that so you guys can get used to doing that, you know. And another way, which is the third way of doing this, and I'll do it with trim number two, which is body 11. I'll go to modify, split body. I'll choose this body for the body to split. And where it says um, splitting tool, I'll select this. And I'll choose this surface or this surface because they're the same measurement. So I'll choose this one just for sake of convenience. And now you see we have this little slicer here that's uh, cutting it. And remember I told you red means uh, cut. So we hit OK. And now we divided this body into two different pieces. Now we have body number 12. And we can just right click on body number 12 and go to remove. So if I turn off the canvas, you'll see they all line up, you know, the way they should to match the canvas. So since we have that done, we are done with this.